It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the Green Bay Packers. All that and more coming up next. First opened in 1957. Welcome inside what's still one of the great stadiums of the NFL. Legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, home of the Packers. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson up here in the booth. And Greg, this is one of those games that it's a little old school. Maybe if it was in black and white, it would be fitting, right? We got a couple of teams who have to hand it off and see their running backs do it on the ground. And it's just so cool. And you mentioned it, Mike, maybe 10, 15 years ago, this would have been the norm on any given weekend. But we're seeing the game trend to more of a passing style offense. If you want to score points, it mostly comes through the air. So for these two kind of throwback offenses that rely so heavily on their running backs, for anybody that loves old school power football, I think we're in for a treat. Just about set, Anders Carlson has the ball teed up. And off we go from legendary Lambeau. Here comes a return from the five. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. Indianapolis led out by their quarterback, Anthony Richardson. The number four overall pick in 2023 had some highlight moments, but injured most of the year. Greg now in his second year in the NFL out of Florida. We throw around so loosely these days, Mike, the idea of being a physical freak, right? This specimen that we just aren't accustomed to seeing, let alone at the quarterback position. The arm talent, the ridiculous blend of size and speed, the ability to make plays with your feet and extend. All of these things come to mind when we look at this guy. Now, going forward, how does he strike that balance between being the game changer and that aggressive athlete with the ball in his hand, but also finding a way to stay on the field and be able to develop? Make no mistake about it, though. The energy in this stadium is palpable, and he's the biggest reason why. Set to go now on first and 10. Now a man who is a collegiate star here in the Badger State. It's Jonathan Taylor. And they're finally going to bring him down. It's a first down if it stands, but maybe a hold set him free. the zone read this is Richardson and he'll be taken down right at the 35 yard line nice job by the defense they had that one well read from the beginning Mike someone's responsible for the running back but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback stays with him keeps him to a short game work to do now as they come up on second and long open man that's Alec Pierce and that's a good game there. It's going to wind up just a couple of yards shy of that first down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. Trying the left side and caught by Pittman. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. On first down, it's Richardson. Again, they target Pittman. He's got another catch. And they'll take this down inside the 35. And he's come out of the game on fire here, Mike, early. He's yet to throw an incompletion on this opening drive. And as he now approaches the opponent's side of the field and they start thinking points on that other sideline, this defensive play caller has to be looking at that call sheet saying, what can I do to slow this guy down? Because with the way this game has started, he could be in for a big day. On first and 10, here's Richardson. The open man is the tight end, Granson.
Hook him up on a second down and eight. From the gun, Richardson. That one complete to Pierce. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. It's a gain of 12 there. That's good for a Colts first down. Over the last couple years, Mike, we've seen the trend in the NFL is that third down has really become a passing down, but not here. Not for this team. They keep the ball on the ground. They're able to pick up a big gain. Fresh set of downs. Richardson to throw it here on first down. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Out of shotgun. Richardson. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. That last sack is exactly why defensive coaches preach over and over. Just play the next down. Just continue to make them snap the ball again. You're one big defensive play from changing everything about this drive. And... What once looked like a promising drive, following that sack, looks a little bit different now. A lengthy opening drive. Now comes to this. It is third down. Here's Richardson. That's complete. Jonathan Taylor out of the backfield. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells me, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. For the return, it's Keyshawn Nixon. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season quarterback, but Greg just his second as a starter, waited his turn, and had a really good first year as a starter. Took a little while for him to get his chance to be a full-time starter, but once he got that shot, he's just never looked back. I mean, Mike, think, he's always had that power for him. He can push the ball up and down the field and make every throw imaginable. But that time he spent on the sideline, I think it ended up being a massive blessing in disguise. He was able to work on his game from a mental and technical standpoint with no pressure to play. And now he is reaping all the benefits. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. From the gun, it's Love. This one is caught by Reed. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points.
from the 35, it's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. This one is caught by Luke Musgrave. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. Well, there's fast starts, Mike, and then there's this. It just seems like it's completion after completion, and now they find themselves in plus territory. Every team has their fringe red zone down to their red zone plan, and once you cross midfield, you got to be thinking six at the worst three, but you're coming away with points. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. Trying to connect with Romeo Dobbs that time. And it'll bring up second and goal. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. Throwing on second down, Love. A good blocking, and he's in. Jordan Love. Touchdown, Green Bay. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Anders Carlson now for the PAT. He knocks it through. And the Packers move out to a 7-3 lead. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Josh Downs now on the return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Colts offense going to take over now for the second time. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Throwing is Richardson. And this one is caught by Pierce. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Here's Richardson. Going to keep this himself. And this is going to be a Colts first down. He's up to the 45-yard line. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Throwing Richardson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five.
So they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. It's the Packers on top. And we're back at Lambeau Field in just a moment. Third and five. Here's Richardson. He gets this one complete to Pittman. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Zone read, it's a give to Taylor. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Richardson operating from the pistol. That is caught. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now... This defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. Jonathan Taylor. Touchdown Colts. A lot of big bodies down there. But at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. Matt Gay on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Colts are on top. It's now 10-7. to seven. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Nixon on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Packers offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and 10. Here's Love. A short throw there, pulled in by Musgrave. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. Here's second and six. A good play action with Love. 
Catch is made by Romeo Dobbs. And he is out of bounds all the way down at the 30-yard line. It is a big-time play for the Packers. 38 yards. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Love to throw on first and ten. These hitch routes, they're usually just designed to pick up a few safe yards. An easy completion, get some rhythm for your quarterback. However, this time, he's able to make a little magic happen after the catch and turn it into something much bigger than even they were probably anticipating. A second down throw for Love. The open man is Reed. He's got it. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. On second down, Love. He pulls it in around the five. And this drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Here's Love to throw. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line. It's second and goal. Now Love. To the end zone there, but... It is incomplete. Jaden Reed was the intended target. And now they'll be looking at third and goal. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. You got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little bit smarter with the ball. And right now, the timing to the goal line and in. Dontavian Wicks. Touchdown, Packers. Carlson now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Packers are on top. It's 14 to 10. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. 
On the return, this is down. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Colts' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll start out first down and 10. He'll start this on the ground. It's Taylor. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's a second and six. They'll go again here with Taylor. And this is going to be a Colts first down as he's able to get it to the 37-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. On first down, they'll stay with Taylor on the ground. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. They go right back to Taylor. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs. Back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. He'll try to run for it. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. You certainly can't fault the secondary here. The coverage was almost too good downfield on third down. The quarterback realized quickly there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, decides to become a runner. He's able to pick up the first down and some. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On play action, Richardson. Catch me. That's Wolf. And he's going to be out of bounds, and that will take us to the two minute warning. They'll work now on second and four. From the gun, Richardson. And downfield, it is Downs with the catch. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. That last completion's going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points. Ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. And the Colts are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It's such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game. And they're knocking on the door here first and goal. And at the very least, got to come away with some points. So here's a chance to take the lead going into the locker room. 
It's first and goal. That is caught in the middle of the end zone. Alec Pierce. Touchdown, Indianapolis. It seems to me they were kind of holding this play call for this exact situation, Mike. First and goal down here near the goal line, and they had this one worked up all week. Simple pitch and catch, and it works to perfection. Gay to add the PAT. He's got it. And the Colts move out to a three-point edge. 17 to 14. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Packers offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. On play action, Love. That's caught right side. It's the tight end, Musgrave. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Off the play fake. Here's Love. He's going to uncork one, looking for Wicks. I'll tell you what, Mike, considering how this offense has played in the first couple of possessions, I'm surprised that one wasn't completed. It seems like that's the first miss of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Continue to build on this momentum, because so far they've come out hot in this one. From the gun, on third down, it's Love. He's going to have the first down and more. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. They get an even 20 on that one. First down, Packers. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And... That's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Going right sideline and complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but they're going to mark him inside the 10-yard line. A huge play just before the half. 38 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone, and this is where you have to finish drives. So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and goal now from just inside the 10-yard line. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Here's Love. 
Here's a screen taken in by Jacobs. Stopped at the six, and that sets up third and goal. Anders Carlson here now to try the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Carlson's kick is good. And the Packers will tie this game up here late in the first half. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So the late field goal brings us level. Final few seconds before halftime as the kick's away. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. Richardson going to look to throw. He'll take a deep shot for Downs. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Both teams look good on the offensive side in the first half. Will it carry over? We're about to find out. Second half is underway. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Jordan Love, the rest of the Packer offense, ready for their next possession. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now, they're going to try to keep it going. On first and ten, here's Love. That's left side, caught by Musgrave. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. Throwing on second down, Love. That one caught by Musgrave, the tight end. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call, you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. He's got his tight end. That's Musgrave. To the 20. He will score. Luke Musgrave. Touchdown, Green Bay. Using the tight end to get to the end zone. Greg, it's your old position. You're very familiar with that. That catch and carry. What an ability for your tight end to take it to the house. Yeah, and this was never really the strength of my game, Mike, but we're seeing so many tight ends around the league who not only are great at securing the catch and making the tough ones, but it's their ability to extend the play after the catch that's separating them, just like we saw here. Now Carlson to add the extra point. His kick is good. And the Packers will go up by seven.
Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. This one taken at the seven. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Colts offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Out of the shotgun, Richardson. Trying the left side and caught by Pittman. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. On second down, Richardson. That's to the left side and taken in by Downs. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Now it's Richardson. He'll keep it. Not a whole lot happening there. Just a short pickup. They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. A second down throw for Richardson. That one into the hands of Downs. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage and so far today he's certainly lived up to that reputation they'll empty out the backfield line up for third and three looking to throw Richardson and that is incomplete great pass rushers live for third down especially when they know the offense has to be one dimensional and this is a great example here Mike they can just pin their ears back and go they know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation, and for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. Oh, not the greatest punt there. This is going to hit and go out of bounds. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out there. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Out of the shotgun. It's Love. That is into the hands of Wicks. And he's got it to the 14-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. They'll run it to the right here with Jacobs. And he's got it. First down. A pickup of four. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second 
and they get a fresh set of downs. The man in motion is Watson. On first down, it's Love. That's complete to Watson. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. A good play action with Love. Looking downfield, that's Musgrave, the tight end. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there, and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. On play action, he'll set up to throw. To the left side, in the hands of Watson. That's a gain of 16. This offense is humming. A first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. He's got it at about the eight. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Here's Jacobs. A short game. Down to the seven. Here now, second down and goal. Back to throw is Love. He's got his man, middle of the end zone. Jaden Reed. Touchdown, Packers. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. He fields it at the eight. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Colts offense about ready to take over once more. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten.
From the gun, Richardson. Completing this one to down. They'll come up here on second down and five. Richardson will give it to Taylor. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. Well, after not having much success in the first half, they're able to get something going on the ground here to start the third quarter. I'd love to see the play caller mix in some play action, mix in some pass game. That should open up some of these holes for better situations to run the ball. They'll run on first down with Taylor. He'll only be able to get the 47-yard line. Second down and eight. Here's Richardson. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. They'll come up to third and three. Here's Richardson. He gets this one complete to Pittman. 17 yards on that connection. First down, Indianapolis. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game. But so far, off to a good start. So, three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Richardson. That's the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. This play is actually really well defended here. But I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open, and this just supports my case. On first down, it's Richardson. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Second down, zone read, and he keeps it. Down in the red zone, design quarterback runs are a handful for defenses to account for. But in this case, give them credit. Not a lot of room to maneuver here for the quarterback, and they keep it to a short game. Third and a yard. Throwing is Richardson. He's got it at the three. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. I'm a little closer. Here's second and goal. 
Looks like a design run here with Richardson. And he will score. Game on. Anthony Richardson. Touchdown, Indy. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? And now they'll go with the more popular of late analytics-driven decision. Down eight, going for two. Trying to push the pile forward. He didn't even get to the one-yard line. They stop him short. No game. So you give up a touchdown on defense. The question is, how are you going to respond on the two-point try? Well, respond did they ever. Big difference giving up eight than there is giving up six. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. On the return, here's Jaden Reed. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Packers offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. On the bootleg, it's Love. Working across the field, he spots Watson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conservative, just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. A good spot here, second and a yard. They'll run the toss to Jacobs. And he's going to be close to a first down. Looks like he'll have just enough to keep the chains moving. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Love. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike touchdown field goal but either way I'm coming away with points off balance throw it's complete and it'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game I think those days are over Mike I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL yes you have to cover but you also have to be able to come up and tackle a second down throw for Love. That complete to Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down. Big time completion right there. And this isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter. They were not only trying to pick up points, 
but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead. So really nice job here late. We're going to see if they can put this one out of reach. An opportunity for what could be a game ceiling touchdown right here. First down and goal. Now Love. That's hauled in at the two. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. From the two now, here's second and goal. They'll run with Jacobs. This defense back up, but stepping up. No gain on the play. It stays at the three. So on second down, they try to hammer it in on the ground, Mike. But now on third and goal, I don't think you have any choice but to put this ball in your quarterback's hands and test this defense through the air. So two minutes left to play in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off. After this, they'll go once more from the three. Third and goal. They'll drop to throw. And the rush gets there. Down he goes. And we'll see a timeout used by the defense, stopping it right out of the break. A minute 57 to go in the game. Comes the kicker. Big spot for Anders Carlson. This to make it a two-possession lead. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And that could be big. They now take a two-score advantage. Back out is Carlson following the made field goal. And he sends this kickoff away. On the return, this is Downs. Now an opening past the 30. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Here's the Indianapolis offense. Now as they get set to take over once more. The deficit is double digits. So work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. Out of shotgun, Richardson. There's that man again. Another catch. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Open man downfield, it's Pittman. That pass play, good for 22. That's good for a Colts first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. He was looking for Michael Pittman with that one. And it'll lead to a second down. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play past defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, 
keep that to a short game. The Lambeau faithful making as much noise as they can before third down. He's got his running back downfield, and it's complete. A gain of 24 through the air. First down, Indianapolis. You can't teach speed. And a guy like this is just a nightmare for these linebackers. He's got a running start at them. You have no idea which way he's going to go. And he ends up just running right by you. Looking middle of the field, it's complete. And the Colts are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. Richardson going to look to throw. And this is going to be a touchdown. Hold everything. They are not done yet. Well, that was step one. The offense did their job. Get this thing back within one possession. So they're still alive. But now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back. And it's not going to be easy. So, certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. That's going to be incomplete. That would have been a tough grab. The collision jarred it loose. The try for two is unsuccessful. With one timeout remaining, all they can really do here is try to recover an onside kick. Oh. Oh. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens. But we can see here, an onside kick, not much of a chance. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Set to go now on first and ten. Love will take a knee, and that ought to do it. The Colts will signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in this one. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here. As he's down to a knee. So, it's a win for the Packers. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So, that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Packers are winners, as we say so long.